How will these new laws work? So these new laws have come about, Karina, because of the decision made by the High Court last month and its ruling was that indefinite immigration detention was unlawful. As a result of that, a number of people were released from immigration detention. That number has now increased to 148 people. These are non-citizens. Among them are murderers and rapists. And the government has repeatedly said that it wants to put people back behind bars but obviously can't due to the High Court ruling. So instead, what they're now proposing is this new legislation. It's called the Community Safety Detention Orders. What that means is it will give the Immigration Minister the power to apply to a court and request that a person be re-detained. Uh, there has to be evidence and proof that that person poses an unacceptable risk to the community in the sense that they could uh, re-commit an offence, whether that's a serious violent offence or a sexual offence. In terms of how long that person could be re-detained, for. It is a three-year uh, time, three-year serving sentence, so to speak. It does have to be reviewed every year. And once that three years is up, the Immigration Minister can reapply again to the court if they believe that's necessary. So, Steffi, just how many people could be sent back to detention under the proposed laws? So there's a number of tests essentially that have to be met in order to get to that final decision being made by the court to detain, re-detain these people. The first test is that a person has to have been found guilty of an offence where they could be sentenced to at least seven years or more behind bars. So under that test, the majority of this cohort actually passed that one. But then the question, Karina, is, is whether the Immigration Minister would want to take the majority of these people to court. And then, of course, the final decision does remain with the court. They have to be satisfied and convinced that there is a risk these people would recommit an offence. So there's still many questions. Um, an answer can't really be given in the sense it's a decision for the court. So we need to keep that in mind when we hear from politicians who are declaring they want these people back behind bars. But in the end, they can put these laws in. But the matter is for the courts. In terms of how long this process takes, we know that Federal Cabinet is discussing it today. It will be debated in Parliament this week. The expectation is the opposition will support it. So the legislation should be in place by the end of this week.